Welcome back to Tenor Guitar Time with Todd. My name is Todd, and let's get right to it. Today, let's go over the A shape chord major arpeggio. And we're going to do this at the G chord, the G major at the 12th fret. Now remember, we are, we're trying to get out of the first position, so we're going to play way up here. Hopefully, if you're playing a if you have an acoustic tenor guitar, hopefully you have access to these frets up here, because I'd like to get up to the uh, 19th fret. Um, if you have an electric tenor, make sure you have it set up by a professional so you can play everywhere on the neck and it'll be in two. Uh, we started uh, this A-shape series with the E minor chord. Now, today we're doing the G major. And the E minor chord is the relative minor of this G, uh, G chord if you're playing in the key of G. You can always find your relative minors by taking your root note of your major chord and going down three frets. So here's our G major. One, two, three. There's our E minor. Let's learn the notes of this G major arpeggio starting on the 12th fret on the low string and then if you have access we'll play also that high B up there forward one back pattern that we're, we've been practicing uh, with the arpeggios so we will go one two three step back one step back one note step back one note step back one note and then let's go up to the B step back one note and then backwards Let's, let's do that uh, another rhythmic exercise, practicing the arpeggio, doing four beats of uh, three. We're going to do three on each note, so we're going to do triplets, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Four of those, and then one, two, three, four. So that's 16 beats all together, right? So one, two, three. To land on the one each time.
homework for this week is to work on the G major arpeggio in the A shape and move from that to the E minor arpeggio that we learned last time. And then after that, practice doing this is a really cool technique. Staying in the same uh, root note and switching from major to minor using the arpeggio. It's a really sweet sound. So we'll do the, do the major arpeggio in the A shape. Then go stay right there in G and go to the minor. Let's practice that. So I'm going to start with that one going G to G minor. And then I'll do G to E minor. And you can practice any chords you want on your own. One, two, three, four. We'll go over the seventh arpeggio in the A shape. And in the meantime, keep practicing. See you next time.